Hiya. Um, today I'm going to do a bit of a new year, exactly the same old, nothing wrong with it makeup bag tutorial. I'm essentially going to take things that I really like or that I've had for a long time and just use them in a slightly different way so that they feel a bit different. So I'm going to start with some CC cream and just buff this into certain areas, in particular the redness, using my hands because usually I'd always use a brush. Um, so I was talking to one of my friends this morning and I said it's just really like it's very overwhelming at the moment all the new year new me stuff that you can see whenever you're you know online or on social media or even your favourite websites and things will tend to have articles of that nature at this time of year and like for lots of people I think that restart and recharge can be really good to get you into a habit you've been meaning to do or, you know, I don't know, lots of people love that kind of thing. But I just thought I haven't really seen that many people be like, well, if you don't have some big thing up your sleeve for the new year, that's OK too. And so I thought, well, maybe I'll just do that this morning with a simple tried and tested maker. And maybe I'll be that person to just say, who cares if you're not doing some brand new thing? I also think, sorry, I should just say, I've spread that really gently everywhere. I've only barely used a pump. Um, I mean, there's a reason why I've got a long sleeve jumper on. I have put tanning drops on my face, but not done my body yet. We'll brush over that. Um, I had a really interesting discussion with Daniel Sandler in my podcast a little while ago. Can I just say, as I'm telling you this, I'm going to buff this in. We'll press it in using a dampened, this is a little Ciate, little Miss Piggy sponge, um, but this will help to give an extra luminous finish to this CC cream. And then I'm going to put some concealer on. Um, Daniel Sandler on my podcast just last uh, winter, he was saying that lots of people, I'm going to go in the back of my hand, buff it in here and then go over my eyes. Lots of people, when they want to make a radical change, he said, like, through the years of doing makeup, he's known people, for example, that maybe go through a heartbreak and they want to cut the hair off or dye it blonde or whatever it is, or people that feel like they want a makeup bag shake-up and they will just start from scratch and change absolutely everything. And he was saying that, actually... You can achieve a really drastic change or make a really big change that will feel significant just by using exactly the same things in a slightly different way. And I thought, do you know what? Like after days and days of looking at what everyone got for Christmas and I think with the likes of social media apps, it's really easy to fall into a comparison trap and think, oh, if I spent loads of money on this or that, I'd feel happier. But actually, why don't we just tweak the things we've already got and it'll probably feel really different and you'll feel like if you do want that new year, new you moment, you can probably achieve it with things you've already got. So that was pretty much all I wanted to say and now I'll crack on and actually tell you what I'm doing with my makeup. So concealer's on base is on. I'm not going to set the concealer with any powder. I'm going to leave it tacky so that some of my shadows cling to it a little bit better. I'm just going to go in with a nice golden pencil in the waterline. And then I think what I'm going to do, rather than take this kind of golden colour all over my eyes, I'm just going to do kind of a smoky shadow liner which is a little bit softer than I'd usually go for and then this will have to be a video for another day but basically um Laura Kafan I feel like all over doing these videos is send you over to Laura but she's hysterical she was telling me this morning that she found a video of Holly from Girls of the Playboy Mansion don't know if you used to watch that it was one of my absolute faves Holly from Girls of the Playboy Mansion has done this tutorial of how she used to wear her makeup when she was in the mansion and it is just absolutely brilliant. Um, it's on YouTube, you'll be able to find it. But basically, I am going to buff that out, don't worry. It just made me realise that like, if you go a tiny bit sharper, 
with everything that you already use, it will look completely different. So I'm gonna do a nice little holly, thin sculpted brow. Your little mascara wand is your best friend for those inner corners. Look how kind of sharp those edges are. And if I buff it out slightly, you still have the precision of that shape, but it doesn't look as noticeable in that inner corner. And I feel like that just looks really neat and polished, which again, I always wear eyebrow pencil, but I never quite do something as precise as that. So that feels like a nice change for me too. Um, I was having a look in the cupboard at things that are kind of quite default to me. Um, I've got a bit of Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow to um, bronze and add a bit of highlight. And actually, I'm not sure how much time I'm gonna have, but I found one of my favorite blushes. I don't even know if they make it anymore. It's called Tremble from Illamasqua. And I would have got that, I think 10 years ago. And <laughs> it's still lovely. So do you know what I mean? Like that will feel like a new year, little judge for me because I haven't worn it in so long, but it's something that's 10 years old in the cupboard. So go and have a rummage. I bet you there are things that you've forgotten how much you used to love wearing them. Now I'm going in with a bit of highlighter under these incredibly sculpted eyebrows. I need to just sort that out. That is actually making me laugh. Six minutes and I've hardly done anything. This is a really good point, by the way. If you do use something luminous on that um, brow bone, see on me there, it had gathered in those hairs and you've instantly lost a lot of that precision. So just remember to go back and check that you haven't got any product lodged somewhere that's going to look um, just not as clean. What am I going to do next? Okay, my eyes. I'm going to go in with this little neutral Mario palette. This is another thing I was discussing with Laura recently. I got this a little while ago. It's really great, classic, neutral kind of colours. And I feel like I've used it a lot just myself but not necessarily gone in on videos and things. So I'm gonna to remember to use this a bit more. I've sealed that in place, just using a bit of a neutral shadow. Now I'm gonna take a pointed brush and a brown, one of these, gone for the darker one actually. And I'm just gonna trace that lash line kind of from a third of the way in and outwards. I'm patting off any excess on my thumb so that it's not as likely to drop down. Now this is a really lovely option, not only for a kind of sultry shadow finish, but also if you notice that you um, get a little bit of running or spilling whenever you try and do a liner on this upper lash line, just go in with shadows and they're so much easier to buff and blend out you still have all of that definition and all of that smokiness, but then you can just soften that line literally with your finger and you've got something nice to work with there. I've really winged that out, which again, wouldn't be my usual style. So see what I mean? It feels completely new. And I've literally just been showing you about a 10 year blusher I'm gonna come on to in a moment. Now I'm gonna make sure I look at this forward on because you can already see that eye is starting to point downwards. So I'm gonna lift that from a higher point. You can also see it's starting to gather because I've got some fine lines in that outer corner. Not to worry, I'm gonna buff this brush as clean as I can get it and then just soften what I've done. Soften that inner corner, flick it up a little bit more with my finger. And then to even those out, I'm gonna darken a little bit of that outer corner. And that's already feeling a lot more symmetrical than it was a moment ago. There we go. 
I'm not sure how I feel about that, to be honest, but the whole purpose is to just have a little play and experiment, isn't it? So there we go. Okay, Ruby Hammer has bought out a liquid eyeliner, classic kind of liquid liner shape that you're familiar with, but it is so jet black, it's brilliant. And I think sometimes with liquid liners, you have to build a couple of layers to really see the, you know, the jet black kind of finish. And this is instantly really dark. I'm gonna take a tiny bit just on the outer edges of these lashes so that when I put my mascara on, it feels like there's a bit of extra volume there. I know that is the smallest step, but quite frankly, we're running out of time. I will do another something with that liner because I just think it's really nice. I think sometimes with things like liquid liner, there are so many on the market and so many to choose from. It's, it's rare to find a really noticeable quality where you'd pick one over the other. But Ruby's is so jet black, it really does stand out from other ones that I've tried. Lash curling might be a bit of a New Year's resolution for me. After I've just done a big 10 minute chat about how I'm swearing off them. But I really have just started to get into curling my lashes and it makes a huge difference. Um, so that is maybe a new year trend I'll happily be getting on board with. Now, I'm just going in with the same mascara that I've used a million times and I can really see a difference from curling the lashes before. This is the NARS Climax Extreme that came out last year. Um, I've been meaning, I've actually done a little TikTok about all the different mascaras, but lots of mascaras launched last year and I think of the new ones this was my favourite by a mile and I actually much prefer it there's an original NARS Climax in a red packet um, and I much prefer this one I think it's a lot more volume whereas the red one will be more for you if you like separation and something a bit fresher um, but yeah this was a really brilliant new arrival last year now I'm not going crazy on the lower lashes. Just gonna do something quite fresh. And then I'm gonna go for some browns that were in Holly's video. So she was saying she always used to use spice pencil. Gonna go in with some spice. I've overdrawn them a bit asymmetrical, I think. But you know what, never mind. I'm gonna go at the top. And then I don't know how they're gonna fare up together, but I used to love this lipstick and wear it all the time, especially when I worked at Selfridges, pure zen. This was always my one for top ups. It's gone a bit darker here. I think the sun must've gone in, but anyway, bit of pure zen. And because there's quite a difference, I think I'm going to just take a little brush and soften the edges of that just to buff them in and marry them up ever so slightly. Maybe I'll go back over with the liner. Now, oh, got this one ready. Bit of Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. I'm gonna go in with my lighter shade along the complexion there. See, you'd never think really, let me just take a bit of translucent powder, you'd never think that that was a completely full coverage. And yet it is, it's covered all my redness, but it still looks lovely and luminous. And then I'm gonna take a tiny bit of bronzer Actually, I can't forget my little Illamasqua tremble, can I? So I'm going to do a little bit of that to finish off. But yeah, long story short, go and raid the cupboard. I'm sure you've got lovely things that you'll feel great in. And let me know if you find anything old and you forgot how much you loved it. I'll talk to you soon.